Hello students and welcome to another exciting religious studies lesson. My name is Mrs. Crystal Wilson. Today's topic is celebrating Pentecost. After today's lesson, you will be able to one, communicate the story of the coming of the Holy Spirit. Two, investigate ways in which Pentecost is celebrated in the churches in the Bahamas. Three, describe the role of the Holy Spirit in people's lives. And four, use various symbols to describe the Holy Spirit. What do you know about Pentecost? The image in the background may have given you a little idea of what Pentecost is about. For some of you, Pentecost may be an unfamiliar word. For others, you may have heard it at home, at school, or even at church. Well, we are about to dig a little bit deeper to find out what Pentecost is all about. examine the word Pentecost. Pentecost is a Greek word meaning 50th. Pentecost is known as a Jewish feast called the Feast of Pentecost or the Feast of Harvest. Now, the Feast of Pentecost or the Feast of Harvest is celebrated 50 days after Passover. There we have the significance of the number 50. Sunday after Easter is Pentecost Sunday. Let's put on our thinking caps. If Easter Sunday was April 12th, then when is Pentecostal Sunday? If you said May 31st, then you're right. Way to go. Pentecost is when the Holy Spirit came and filled the disciples. Pentecost is also referred to as Whitson. This is why we have Whit Monday as a holiday. Ah, Whit Monday is coming up, which is June 1st. Jerusalem was where the disciples gathered to pray and wait for the promised Holy Spirit. Okay, students, allow me to take you way back to a place called Jerusalem, where many of Jesus' followers, we know as disciples, gathered in one room, which we call the upper room. And while they were sitting, praying and worshiping, the sound of a mighty rushing wind came and filled the whole room where they were sitting. I don't know about you, but I think I would have been afraid. With winds, violent winds blowing like that, that must have been a hurricane. But those men, those women, the followers of Christ, they sat there. They continued to worship. They continued to pray because they knew that Jesus had already promised them the comforter. Can any of you imagine what happened next? They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that sat on each of their heads. Everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Many Jews came from other countries for the feast when they heard the commotion and they draw near, they were so amazed to hear the disciples declaring the wonders of God in other languages. This is what we know today as speaking in tongues. Many declared that the disciples were drunk. Peter protested, these people are not drunk as you suppose. 
it is only nine in the morning. What you are seeing is what the prophet Joel spoke about. He declared in the last days, God will pour out his spirit on all people. Something amazing happened. Peter preached and many repented and believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Those who accepted the message were baptized, about 3,000 people. Many were baptized with the Holy Spirit. Many were joined to the church. They met and they learned from the apostles. They break bread and they pray together. All the believers shared what they had with those in need. That was an amazing story. Do you know that when Joel said, he, God, will pour out his spirit upon all flesh, that included you? That included you, your mother, your father, your sisters, your brothers, your aunts, your uncles, your teachers. In the Bible, the Holy Spirit has many names. Here are four that I have listed for you. He is a comforter. Whenever you are sad or you are in trouble, the Holy Spirit is there to provide peace and joy. He is a comfort now while we are in quarantine during this pandemic. He assures us that God will never leave us even while we are locked down. He is a helper because he is always there whenever we are in need. He is there to guide and direct us that we may not go astray. He shows us the way that we should go. Revealer of truth. He always makes us to know the lies of the enemy. We will never go wrong if we have the spirit living within us. Finally, he is our teacher. Whatever you need to know, whatever you don't understand, the Holy Spirit brings clarity. He teaches us how to pray and how to study the word of God. Here is how the Holy Spirit can impact your life. The Holy Spirit has many important roles in the life of every Christian. I am sure that many of you attend church. Did you know that we celebrate Pentecost Sunday? What does Pentecost Sunday look like in your church? What do you see? People slain on the floor? skipping, jumping, hopping, dancing, plenty footwork, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, shouting, jumping. What do you see on Pentecost Sunday? Well, in most churches on Pentecost Sunday, the services are full of life and filled with lots of singing. And most of the songs that are sung are about the Holy Ghost. And the sermon is normally about the Holy Spirit and the role that he plays in the life of a Christian. Symbols are normally used to represent someone's characteristics. Here are four examples of the characteristics of the Holy Spirit. We've been rocking and rolling in religious studies today. We've been rocking and rolling in religious study today. So see you next time and don't be late. It's another adventure, yet it's a date. We're rocking, we're rolling, we're rocking, we're rolling in religious studies.
We're rocking, we're rolling, we're rocking, we're rolling in religious studies. Thanks for watching. See you next time.